Hello everyone, welcome to my online geography class, KSK Geography. Here, today, we are going to discuss about very important part of ICC Geography exam, that is the map work. You know, map work is very, very important. You need to mark 10 features on the map work and you will not get any option. You have to attempt all the map features, but maximum student, they used to lose marks in the map work. Maximum student, they used to lose marks in map work. Here, in this video, I am here to help you how to get good marks in the map war with a few simple tricks with a few simple tricks i'll help you to get good marks in the map war right so we'll discuss as per the 2023 syllabus you don't need to do much more you need to do the work as per the 2023 syllabus now first we'll discuss about the mountain features that you need to mark here you can see those are the mountains that you have to do as per the 2023 syllabus like himalayas karakaram aravalli bindas satpura western Ghat, Eastern Ghat and Nilgiris. These are the only map features are there. Most probably every year one question is to come from the map features. Now we'll do all the map features one by one. So let's start with the Himalayas. Himalayas for Himalaya marking you need to remember three things. Council or the examiner will check the three things where the student used to make mistake. So I'll help you out how to get rid of that so you can mark this Himalaya easily. So first things you need to remember right that is the two rivers that is one river that is the Indus river here you know this is the Indus river and another river that is the Brahmaputra river Brahmaputra river is here those two rivers you need to remember right which are the river line and one more thing you need to remember the Nepal boundary here you can see this is the Nepal boundary right so this Nepal boundary you need to remember and if you know these three things so you can mark the Himalayan mountain very easily remember this Himalayan mountain it will never cross the Indus river river and it will never cross the Brahmaputra river right and the lower part of Himalaya it will not come below the Nepal boundary this Nepal boundary now you have to mark it there so how will mark you have to mark no it will be there in arc shape right so it will start from here and as I said it will not go below the Nepal boundary and it will not cross the Brahmaputra river as well as Indus river so in this portion you have to just mark that things base you need to create and then you just do wide that length right so this way your himalayan mountain it will be marked right i repeat three things examiner is going to check one it should not cross the indus river it should not cross the brahmaputra river and it should not come below the nepal boundary if you will violate any of these three things so you will lose the marks right so these are the himalayan mountain after marking i'll suggest in this place only write himalayan mountain as per the question paper but write in capital letters try to avoid those arrow marks because if you use the arrow marks more you know it will make the map work little hazy so avoid those arrow marks just right here himalayan mountain in capitals right so next one karakoram mountain karakoram mountain is another more important mountain for that also clue it will be there that is the indus river just above the indus river above the indus river that portion it will be the karakoram range so similarly you know parallel to the indus river you have to mark like this right that is the karakoram range remember that is the karakoram range just parallel to the indus river above the indus river you need to mark that is the karakoram range again you need to write in capital letter and here only you can mark those Karakoram range. Next one, the Arabali mountain. So for Arabali mountain, you need to remember the two clue. One, that this point and this point. From here, you need to imagine one vertical line and horizontal line. Now, which point this two line made from there and you know one more map features that is the Delhi. Delhi is located near about in this place. So from there you need to start and it will go near about 45 degree angle up to this much. So for that you need to mark from here to here right. So those are the Arabali mountain. I repeat from here to here you need to mark towards Delhi you need to go so that is the Arabali mountain now next two these are the very easy next two one that is the Bindas another one is the Satpura so Bindas mountain it will be there you need to remember two rivers here which are the two rivers one that is the Narmada so here you can see this is the Narmada river and another river that is the Tapi so this is the Tapi river now what it will be Bindas Bindas it is the 
upper one so above the narmada river so from here you need to start no from here you need to start and it will go like this so that is the bindas i repeat so just above the narmada river that will be the bindas and in between the two rivers what are those narmada and tapi so be in between the narmada and tapi that you need to mark that is the satpura right bindas and satpura now next two that is the western ghat and eastern ghat western ghat so obviously it will be there in the western side western ghat means western side so western ghat where it will start it will start from the tapi right river tapi from there you have to start and it will go up to the kaveri river up to this much right so and it will be very close to the coastal line so it will be very close to the coastal line but there will be little gap right there will be little gap and it will be very close so that is the western ghat and it it will be continuous line there will be no break in between right it will be continuous line there will be no break in between next eastern guard eastern guard there will be little bit gap as well as there will be break so eastern guard you need to mark in between the river and you know it will be little bit away from the eastern coastal line so you have to mark it here here and in between you don't need to mark anything and here so these are the part for eastern guards right and the last one the nilgiri nilgiri for nilgiri you need to remember the river kaveri so kaveri river you can see here is the little bit uplift portion right so this portion you need to mark here it will be there nilgiri right so those are the features himalaya karakaram aravalli bindas satpura western guard eastern guards and nilgiri from there most probably one question it will come next next you have to mark the two features in mountain peaks that is as per the year 2023 syllabus mount godwin austin or k2 and mount kanchenjunga remember mountain peaks it will be marked you know in different symbols like what will be the symbols with red color you need to make the triangle right i need to fill the triangle with the red color so that it will be the symbols that it will be the symbols for mountain peak now two mountain peaks you need to mark that is mount godwin austin or k2 remember mount Godwin Austin or K2, it is there in the Karakoram range. It is there in Karakoram range. Now, previously you have studied about how to mark the Karakoram range. So, here is the Karakoram range. Now, Karakoram range on Karakoram range, you need to mark Mount Godwin Austin or K2. That it will be here. You can see the clue. The above the Indus River and this is a V shape is there in Indian map. So, from there, you need to mark it here. That is the that is the Mount Godwin Austin or K2. As I said, you need to mark in triangle. You need to mark in triangle triangle that is mount godwin austin next mount kanjanjanga for marking mount kanjanjanga you need to remember one thing the nepal boundary again so nepal boundary you know here is the nepal boundary it is coming and going up and again coming down here it is bhutan and here it is nepal and this part is the india right so how you will mark for mount kanchenjunga remember again red color triangle you need to use and how will mark remember one thing mount kanchenjunga half it will be there in nepal half it will be there in india so it is there this side is the bhutan this is the nepal boundary this is the nepal and this is the india part so you need to mark you need to mark the mount kanchenjunga here right half as i said half it will be there in india half it will be there in nepal you need to mark on nepal boundary so you can see more videos regarding the map work and that it will help you to get good marks in the map work in ICC 2003 board exam. Thank you very much.